So yesterday, I believe, or maybe a uh, day before, I forgot, we brought up this uh, killing down in Georgia. Speaking of Georgia and the malls reopening. Georgia on my mind. Uh, supposedly there was a black guy, quote unquote, jogging, right? And uh, there was a father and son who got on their truck and went and it seemed to be following this guy. And the guy, in, the black guy ended up dead. And now all hell broke loose by the blacks down in Georgia. Not all the blacks, but some in that area for sure. Without knowing all the details, they're out crying, they're killing us. We can't even leave. LeBron, uh, Le LeBron, what's that guy's name? LeBron James. Yeah, LeBron James and all of these race hustlers. Without knowing all the details, they're already out crying and killing the black man. It's hard on the black man in America. They don't want, because it's white on black thing, they don't want to wait and hear the truth. Because the truth might require them shutting up and not having their phony outrage when it's white on black situation. I don't know what the whole deal is because I only see what the part in when the video came in there, came in. Didn't see the beginning. Don't know what the real deal is, right? But so we should wait and see. We should have always have an attitude of waiting and seeing. Wait to see. Attitude. All right? Just remember that. I don't care what the situation is. If you don't know what the real deal is, you're not a witness to it. Wait and see. But because Al Shopton, Lion Cricket, Al Shopton, and others are jumping on all of the race hustlers, I knew that the father and son, who are white, would end up in jail. I knew they would be arrested. And this thing happened a while back. It didn't just happen yesterday. And I knew that these two white guys, it happened in February, but I knew these guys, white guys would be arrested as soon as the race hustlers start crying racism and black people being killed by the white man or police or whatever, right? So I'm not surprised. This is ABC 2022. 20, Good evening, I'm Shannon Royster. We begin with breaking news tonight. The two men at the center of the shooting death of Ahmaud Arbery have been arrested. Gregory McMichael and his son Travis were charged with murder earlier this evening. Attorney Benjamin Crump sent us this statement saying, quote, it's outrageous that it has taken more than two months for Ahmaud Arbery's executioners to be arrested, but better late than never. This is the first step to justice. The murderous father and son duo took the law into their own hands. It's a travesty of justice that they enjoyed their freedom for 74 days after taking the life of a young black man who was simply jogging. All of this comes after that now viral video of Arbery's death was released just a few days ago. That video has been viewed millions of times on social media. In it, as you can see, two men, a father and son, confront Arbery as he jogs in a Brunswick neighborhood. The pair were not charged for months after the incident. And that prompted numerous protests in Glynn County, the case making it all the way to the Capitol. Governor Brian Kemp had this to say during his Thursday press conference. I have full confidence in Vic Reynolds and the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. I know that they will be working around the clock to thoroughly and independently investigate Mr. Arbery's death to find the truth. Amazing, right? They don't know what happened. Oh, but they're protesting. And this guy, Benjamin Crump, he reminded me of Al Shopton. Whenever there's a white on black situation, he shows up, right? Race hustler, no love, just using folks. None, zero. And black people love folks like that. It, it, it's a shame, but 
there is no love within, not all, not all, not all, but most black people. All of a sudden, an outcry. No proof. Don't know the real deal. But there is no outcry for, for the black aborted thousands and thousands of genocide upon the black aborted child worse than slavery. Abortion is worse than slavery. But no outcry from these race hustlers about that at all. I wonder if it's because Planned Parenthood give them money. I'm just wondering out loud. No outcry from these black race hustlers that a black child doesn't even have a chance to enter the earth because he or she is murdered in the womb by Planned Parenthood, an organization that was founded by a white woman, Margaret Singer. Some kids and are unwanted, so you kill them now, kill them later. <laughs> See that? This is all a pretense, folks. It's for money and power for the race hustlers. They don't care about black people at all. Where are these people when it's black on black crime? Blacks are killing one another like Natty going north in most urban areas. You don't see Benjamin Crump and Al Sharpton and all these people crying racism about that. They don't care about the black on black murder, taking the black man's life. It's hard on the black man when you live in a black community. You don't hear anything about that. There was a black woman, I believe she was a police officer, I'm not sure. Was she a police officer killed by a black guy recently? Do you guys remember this? Huh? A male lady. Yeah, a black male lady killed by a black guy, right? It was a white woman, a white male lady. I remember reporting on this, killed by a black guy because he thought, according to the report, that she was holding his stimulus check. <laughs> you didn't hear one thing about that, not from the race hustlers, because it was black on white. It's hard on the white man in America today. A white male lady, I remember that story now. He followed, according to the report, he followed her down the road there and get, went out on the porch or something of someone else's home and killed the woman because he, he thought she was holding his stimulus check. Nothing said about that. I say, since we did not see the beginning of the video, how, what was really going on, because there are more details T detail coming out. Why not have a wait and see attitude about it? Oh, black people hate white folks. They don't care. And remember I said that black people put on this earth to push evil and fight against good? That that's their primary purpose today? It hasn't always been that way. When I was growing up, it wasn't that way. Black people led the way for good during those days. They were known as moral people. They really were, and it was true for the most part. Not anymore. They are now created for evil, and that's what they push. Everything that's wrong, you can always get majority of blacks to join forces with that. But that's just good. You're not going to be able to do it. Isn't that amazing? And now there's someone else who, as far as I know, doesn't know me and I don't know them. They don't know me and I don't know them. They're saying the same thing in a different way with a different meaning, but it still means the same thing. This is from the Daily Blast. And Joel brought this to our attention, by the way. Thank you, Joel. He said this to my producer. He's like, what the? Uh, this is from the Daily Blast. It's a live Daily blast, daily blast Live, I believe. And they commented on this story last night. I want you to hear 
the purpose of black people on America, t I mean, on the earth today. Listen to this. I will never know, but running while black seems to be a death sentence, Lindsay. How do you feel? I'm really upset, as you can tell. Ahmad would have been 26 tomorrow. I have a little brother that's 26. He was in the beginning of his young adult life, and he didn't get a chance to continue running or laughing or doing any of the things that he wanted to do in this life. Who would know? His mom can't watch that video because she's hurt, just like black people are hurt. I think when you're looking around and black people are saying, where are you guys at? We're looking at the historical context that every time there's an issue, mm -hmm. when there's LGBTQ, we go on the front lines and we say, hey, we're going to fight with you guys for what's right. When we say we're putting up a Muslim ban, and black people are there saying, we're going to fight for you guys because that's not right. When you say that we want the Me Too movement, black women started that. And a woman named Yamanika, who's an artist, brought this up, that every time there's voting rights for women, black women are on the forefront. So where is everybody at? Where is everybody at right now? We need everybody. This is not a black and white issue. This is a right and wrong issue. And if you're silent right now, you're basically saying that a black life is worth being killed, black lives don't matter, and that you're OK with the oppressor. Because I see people with tons of extra time on TikTok, dancing around, posting on Instagram every day because we have more time than we've ever had before. But if you can't take the time out to make a call, send a text, post a video, or tell your friends why this is wrong, then shame on you. Shame on you that you think that our lives are still worthless when we fight for you every single time. I rest my case. My case is resting. I have a witness. Black people have stood up for everything that's wrong. Everything. Majority, not all, but most. Thank you, Joy. I don't know how you found that, but that's deep. She's so proud, too. I know. All proud of it. Yeah, we stand up for all those things that are wrong. We are proud of it. All in the name of Jesus. I've been saying this for a while. Y'all like, oh, no, that's not true, Jesse. That's not true. Even though no one has been able to prove me wrong. Now this black woman has been a witness. She became a witness for what I've been saying a long time. And she's all proud of it. They are proud to stand for what is wrong. But ask them to stand for what is good, it ain't going to happen. Isn't that amazing? So, I rest my case. Yeah, I was gonna say it proves it proves that the, that even she says it that black people are leading the way yeah. in destruction. Yeah, they're leading the way. Amazing. It wasn't like this when I was brought up, so I ha I know the other way. I remember when black people, not all but most, were on the side of good. They were on the side of God. They're against God now. Black people hate God. They hate good. They hate love. Not all but most. Amazing. And don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe, and share the Jesse Lee Peterson radio show, folks. We really appreciate it. We are at war. It is a spiritual battle for the soul of America. And it's going to take all of us to do it.